But one of the, you know, one of the main uh, Filipino American crews, you know, to really check that came out of the Bay Area and specifically came out of the mobile scene as Invisible Scratch Pickles. Now, you should have watched the ISP battle versus the X-Men. We'll talk about both those crews today. Um, but, you know, this crew is D Styles, uh, DJ Qbert, uh, DJ Shortcut, Apollo and Disc. Um, you know, and um, they also had other members, Flair and A Track and Yoga Frog, Flair and A Track. And um, Yoga Frog eventually became like a manager for Invisible Scratch Pickles and, and Qbert and a business manager. Um, but uh, this, this crew is just so important because if you watch the battle, you know, um, they were one of the earliest crews to just like showcase the DJ, you know, DJs as a band. So you'd have shortcut hand drumming. So taking a kick and a snare, a boom and a cack and go with his hands. And then, you know, you'd have, a, you know, q -bird or, or D or whatever come in with a bass line and go ball, 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 ball over the boom the cat you know and then someone come in with some lead scratches or a horn stab or whatever and they'd start to layer it and kind of try to you know make turntable music and um you see that in the uh, in the team battle um you know against the x-men uh, the x-men you know i'll talk about that battle in, in a little bit we're more known for the um, not necessarily operating as a band, they were more known for their individual skills, beat juggling skills, primarily beat juggling skills, whereas the Scratch Pickles were more known for their scratching skills, okay? Um, but I mean, yeah, the, the, the centrality and importance of the Rocksteady uh, DJs, um, you know, earlier known as the Dream Team, which was just Qbert and Mixmaster Mike, or were later known as that, um, uh, just were incredible, like, because these are all, you know, Filipino Americans. Uh, Mixmaster Mike is part Filipino and I think part German, maybe. Um, and, anyways, I mean, he's Mike is like an incredible, you know, DJ. He was the Beastie Boys DJ for a long time. I mean, he's just you know, on another, another planet, so to speak. Um, but like these, these cats, the ISP cats, um, Rocksteady DJs, which was Mixmaster Mike, Qbert and Apollo, the Dream Team, which was Qbert and Mixmaster Mike, no Apollo. Um, you know, they won the 92 Worlds, World DMC Championships and the 93 Worlds, which is a huge, huge deal because um, they became these, like, I would say godlike, you know, characters to and influencers to young you know uh, Filipino Americans um, because it gave them in hip-hop too like this is all like hip-hop based like DJing um, in hip-hop it gave them like a, pr a presence and a voice like a very clear presence and a very clear clear voice um, you know and representation and that representation was huge because it inspired so 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 many um, not only, you know, Filipino, but young Asian Americans and, 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 you know, people, um, you know, Asians all over the world, uh, Japan, where there's a super dope, um, in very incredible, you know, scratch, uh, culture and scratch industry. Um, you know, and, and, and so like they became these like cultural icons, um, and, and, and brand ambassadors within the industry, of, uh, you know, of hip hop DJ products, you know, mixers and turntables and um, all that stuff. So I can't understate the importance of, of them because it really, you know, when we think about representation, um, you know, and seeing yourself, you know, winning like the most important like DJ battle on the planet and being the best scratchers, it's so, it's so it was so inspirational um, to, to the next generation that went on to you know, really, really change things. So um, I, I cannot, you know, speak to the importance of, of that group.